you know today, I just woke up and I like said, this. No, instead of waiting on a good day, waiting around through ups and downs, waiting on something to happen, I just said, Sorry about that, guys. We got dropped. We're back live again. I'm here with Dave Hensley. Technical difficulty. Sometimes it happens. Even smartphones are too smart for their own good. But we are back live with FidelisLive.com, and it's Rob Barber, your digital mayor. And uh, today my interview is with Dave, and he's going to impart some great wisdom upon us, and I'm excited about being here today. Dave became a friend of mine through social media, through his excellent marketing, and him just getting out there and hustling. I found him and said, that guy, I bet he can cut some great hair, and he's an artist, and I want to I want to get to know him, and, uh, and we created this great friendship. So I introduce you to Dave. So Dave, tell us your story. Um, well, hi. Once again, David Owensley, hair stylist, and my story is kind of complex, so I'll give you the Reader's Digest version. Uh, I've been doing hair 20 years, um, lived in LA for about a year, but more importantly, my home now is the Tampa Bay area, which I love so much. Um, there's nothing better than this little city on the bay. I get to meet great people every day. I get to create art. I get to create confidence just with a simple snip and a haircut or even a little bit of color. And in fact, that you come in my chair every three to four weeks is really probably one of the best times. Such a liar. No, I'm not <laughs> lying. Every time, listen, I use online booking, which is fantastic. I wish all my clients would use that. Um, but every time I see your appointment come through, man, it makes me smile because I know you are such a positive person and the power of positivity and the outreaching and through social media, you know, it connected us. And for the first haircut, it's been nothing but laughs. Yeah, it is a good time. You know what I mean? I can cut hair all day long and I do it great if you want, but if I don't do a good job, you're not going to come back. So it's more than just a haircut, it's the experience. Right. You know? Right. And so you get, it's a win win. You get a great haircut, we get good stories, we get good laughs. Um, but, you know, I really truly enjoy this job. I don't consider it a job. I mean, there are moments it's job like, but it's a, the, the path of an artist is truly the path that chose me. Um, I come from a family of artists. And my mom's a hairstylist and a singer. My father, Mr. Pops, he was a songwriter, DJ, and music producer. So I grew up in a home of, you know, inspirational people, positive, right. you right. know, and like the artistic expression. And, you know, if there's anything that I learned from that was be true to yourself, follow that path, follow what's in what's inside you. If you believe in yourself and, and create that awareness around you, people will also believe in that. Right. And they'll, come, they'll gravitate towards you completely. You know, so, you know, the other thing is the reason why I wanted to share this time with David with you guys is that, you know, he's not, he's all, he's an artist, but he is also on the hustle. And so I thought it'd be good, you know, just to share a little bit about how, you know, how did, how did you take, because he's got his own brand, he's got his own products and those kind of things. So how did, how did you say, okay, well, I need to take this to the next step. Maybe someone can hear a little bit of your story about taking that next step and uh, maybe that'll help drive them a little bit today. Well, you know, I was an educator for a big hair company for a while, doing shows and education and traveling, and I was approached by a client, and after one haircut, two haircuts turned into three haircuts, and the third haircut, he said to me, he's like, how'd you feel about having your own line of hair care? Let's do something fun. Right. I said, you know what, let's do it. Adam Roush, you're an amazing human being. I love you, brother. Um, he came to me and said, let's just do it. Let's do some hair care products. Let's make it happen. So we went to work immediately on that project. And now, Lay Brand is everywhere. That product line is taking off. Um, I recently just came out with all new packaging. Um, we reformulated the products. I did something no one's ever done. Well, we did something no one's ever done in hair care. It was that we put pheromone technology in our hair care products. Okay. And we call it fair attraction. So it's beyond a good haircut or a good hair product. It's about creating compliments and creating confidence from within. And that's what the product's about. You know, creating a line of hair care is very challenging. It's very exhausting. You know, I know now why people give up and throw the towel in, but if you believe in something strong enough right. and, you know, other people will see that, right. then don't give up on it. Yeah. Keep, keep going. And just like you and I had the conversation earlier, you know, like, People who don't utilize the power of social media or utilize their tool of excitement, you're gonna you're gonna become stagnant. You're gonna be left behind. Right. So you have to capitalize on it. I tell all the colleagues that I work with at Salon Lofts, which yeah. Salon Lofts is a great company to work for, by the way. I truly love this place. Utilize social media, capitalize on Instagram. You get a billion people doing this all day long. Right. So why not give them something exciting, enthusiastic, and fun to look at? Yeah. I don't like to use the word bully. I don't like to use that word at all. But I kind of am aggressive with my marketing techniques, and you know I'm kind of like guerrilla, guerrilla marketing. I'm always on it, always on it, always on it. Because think about it, horrible news is forgotten like that. Yeah. So think about how great good news is. It forgotten. is. Oh, exactly. 
Well, we are about four and a half minutes in, and we got some viewers on, and so, um, so you got this great, you know, you already got your career, you've been doing it for 20 years, you're established, you're in the community, um, you got this new brand, new, this new product that's coming out. We also like to share a little bit about this community. Why are, you, why are you in this community? You could be in LA, you could be in New York, you could be in Dallas, you could be in Chicago, you could be anywhere. Why, why do you have and do business here? Living in bigger cities, I've always realized they're the home of the open and hidden agenda. Everyone's got an agenda and they're always so aggressive. Why I love this area so much is that it feels like home. When you say, when you say hi, they say hi back. When you smile, you get a smile back. And you can make a successful living in this place. I mean, you got the Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> I mean, right, right. You got powdery white sands. You got pretty. You got pretty people on the inside and out. You've got a lot of great things in the city, and the city is fabulous. And I love the fact that I can go right across the bridge and see a whole other city in downtown St. Pete. Right. And see the arts and right. see the culture there. Yeah. And you know, I really love Tampa. I mean, Tampa's been good to me. You know, that's. So many people let that bridge keep them from seeing really how big the Tampa Bay area is and what it is, and it just, they leave it as a barrier. It just is life. They, they're afraid to cross any bridge. Ooh, you that's it. good. You guys yeah. get that? Yeah. That was, see that? See, that's why I come here. The guy's like a prophet, philosopher, it's my therapist. What do you therapist. call it? Therapist, sorry. <laughs> it's my therapist. So we come here and we debate life. So. Um, so uh, I mean, we're probably only about two minutes left, David. So if uh, we always like to end our show with just a little bit of sharing positivity because everyone has their own view on their life, their own moment, and their journey. So take this next two minutes to impart upon anyone who's seeing this today or maybe see it 20 years from now. What, what can you leave them today with just some advice or just some positivity or just a way to maybe look at life to get through today? First off, every day above ground is a great day. In fact, you have air in your lungs. The wind on your face, the sun on your face is a blessing from a higher power. Enjoy what you have. Be grateful for what you have. If you have a talent and skill, then embrace it and show the world what you have. Don't be afraid. If there was a mountaintop I could climb right now and put lightning bolts down on everyone to show them how great I am, how great I feel about today is, how great I am, but how great I am appreciative today, I would do it. I don't have that mountaintop. What I do have is a smartphone and social media. It is. So, you know, I'd like to instill positivity. I mean... That's the only thing I can tell you is to be positive all the time. It's almost like if you tell yourself a lie, you'll believe it. Right. If you're in a bad mood, tell yourself it's going to be a great day. Yeah. Just fake it till you make it, and then you start believing that lie. And it's like, okay, you know what? I am in a good mood today. I am in a great mood today. And you will start attracting the same amount of energy that you put out. Yeah, you know, this just goes to, you know, what you feed your mind, you know, feeds your heart, changes behavior, changes what your outlook is infect people I tell you and you know this is one of the main reasons why I come to David I mean I could I could easily stay you know within two miles of my office and you know and, and spend this time with someone but I come here because it is a positive environment so continue to surround yourself with positive people and uh, it makes a difference the world is a fabulous place and even more importantly it's fairly fabulous <laughs> Nice product placement. Awesome. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, listen, we're about our seven minutes, and I appreciate everyone spending some time today. I hope you enjoyed meeting David. If, if you'd like to know a little bit more about how to get in touch with him, uh, check out Salon Lofts. Look up Dave Hensley. I'm going to put his information in the comments. But, guys, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think about this. Share this with someone. If you, if you know someone that maybe needs a lift up today or a little pick up today or maybe this message about positivity, share it with someone. Share it with the world. And, uh, and go out and find and surround the people that are positive in your life no matter where they are. Make sure every minute is spent around positiveness. So uh, we love you guys. Thanks for tuning in to FinellasLive.com. Thank you so much. Truly appreciate you tuning in. Have a wonderful, awesome, and blessed day. You're, you, are the, you are the rock star. You know that. <laughs> Only on Tuesdays. Yeah. And some, oh, every other day it ends with why. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you. Bye.